Good evening, short story writers. This also will be very, very short. It's a continuation of the last theme, Revenge. I don't think it's just me because I've had this conversation with a couple of people and I didn't start it. They brought it up. I thought, okay, maybe this is a universal thing, but not just the killer put down line. Um, th th this one is where somebody has done something totally unspeakable to you or somebody that you care about a lot. Oops, sorry uh, <laughs> for the, the uh, shaky camera. I've been watching too much, whatever those dramas are. Anyway, um, yeah, so I've experienced this myself. I had a car once upon a time. And it got stolen, and in my head, I, I don't know, either found the thieves or caught them in the act or whatever, and my revenge was horrible. Or as a friend once said, suddenly you are the Terminator. And there's that really nasty scene in the first one where he says, your clothes give them to me. And, <clears throat> yeah. That. So, <laughs> probably shouldn't laugh, but in our minds we kind of purge ourselves of the humiliation of the theft or of the uh, slight to people who we hold dear. Have you ever noticed that? Some people, they, they, they can recount things that have happened to them and you get really outraged on their behalf and you want to go and Shall we say crack skulls? So that's it. And again, keep it anonymous. Just write down writing exercise number two. This is not meant to be a story. This is for you to exercise your thriller writing skills. And even in literary fiction, there will be times when this would be appropriate. I mean, if you're going to write literary fiction about life, People do do this kind of thing, and then there are consequences. So, how literary are you going to get? And of course, this kind of scene happens in thrillers, it happens in sci fi, especially in horror. Stephen King's full of it. So, uh, yeah, it could be useful. And just write it all out, let it all kind of spill out onto the page, and then later on, go back couple of weeks from now in November, go back, pull it out of the drawer and turn it into a piece of writing, something which flows and is readable. Okay, that's it. Happy writing. And as usual, there's a like a, a button and a subscribe button and all those other things. And uh, yeah, have fun. Good night.